to have fun. <laughs> That's our main purpose is I think most of us are started in this because we kind of watched it on TV or saw it somewhere and it just kind of looked like fun. So we had a dog and any dog can do it. It doesn't have to be a purebred dog. It can be any kind of dog, big dogs, little dogs. So we thought, ah, let's go out and give it a try. You see, the problem is once you start, then you get hooked and we kind of become addicts, I guess, a little bit. So that's what keeps us going and keeps us competing. To figure something out and be able to pass that idea on to the dog who doesn't understand English and only knows what the handler tells him. You can only tell your dog in little wee small bites of information. You can watch them out there and boy they're pretty sensitive and they can just kind of read the handler and the handler can read the dog and it's just kind of really fun to watch when you see them two come together like that. I may see the whole course, the dog doesn't. The dog goes from obstacle to obstacle and it's up to me to any handler to make that job as, as simple and easy to understand as possible. And if we do it and the dog follows our instructions, then we know we've done it right. <laughs> so it's a personal pride in having figured it out. It's sort of a cerebral thing in a way. I think uh, for me, what I found is a good strong bond between you and your dog. And that tends to develop because of agility. And I mean, usually, a lot of us have a little bit of equipment at home that you can make out of kind of, you can make a jump out of two flower pots and a broom handle. And it's the time that you spend with the dog. A good handler is one that takes the responsibility for making good decisions and bad decisions. If you make a bad decision, if your dog does something you don't want it to do, you must have cued it wrong with your body. You must have. So you have to accept that responsibility. And I think of it as kind of a big playground for dogs. They get to go through things and over things and meet all their doggy friends and I think and get lots of good treats. So I think that's probably why they love it. At least that's why my guys love it anyway. Well, for my guys, I think they have a heck of a lot of fun. I mean, you, you just watch the expression on, on especially that black dog's face. And she just does it. She would do it with one leg tied up. She would. She just absolutely loves it because it's a way of working off energy and it's, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's her and it's me and she has my undivided attention. Mixed breed dogs and you'll find many of them in shelters and they make some of the best agility dogs because many of them have found their way into the, the, um, the shelter because they were so energetic. It's, I don't think it's any more difficult to train them to do like a tunnel or, a, or a, an obstacle than it is to teach them to sit or to lie down. You kind of, we start really small, so you might see a tunnel that's 15, 20 feet long, but when we start with it, we crush it all up so it's maybe two or three feet. So they start kind of with little baby steps and then gradually as they get more confidence, then you extend the tunnel or put the bar up on a jump or different things like that so that then they can, the expectations get a little higher. The more you get into this, um, the more, um, not obstacles, but the more challenges present themselves. And you take them on, and you solve them, and you go on to another one. So it's a never-ending learning process for the handler. A lot of people, when I first say, you know, you should come out and try some agility, oh, my dog won't do that, or I can't do that, I can't run. And if you can convince people to come out and then you get to watch them and watch how excited they are, how much fun that they're having. And if you're not having a good time, you shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> I think that more people should get out and try it. It's a lot of fun. It's good exercise for you and for your dog. You get to spend time outside. And uh, it's just, it gets to be a lot of fun. <laughs>